Look at the section I've got to share with you today. We're doing some of the fairy wing during this whip and chat. Hi everybody, I hope you're all well. My name's Suzanne, welcome to Stone Magpie. We're going to start with this arrow symbol here. And as you can see, I am still working out of the bags. It seems to be working really well for me. I do need to use my chart rather than the legend though, but it's fine, it's working super fine. Saved me all that time kitting up with this one. I wouldn't necessarily do more than 50 colors, I have to say, I think 50 is plenty because um, any more, and I don't think I would have actually had space on my table for all the baggies. <laughs> They are set out to the side of me. So if there was any more than 50 bags, I would struggle with the space, but it's working fine for this. I am working with my lovely pen still from Crafted Makes. I just adore this pen. It is a lovely size and a lovely weight. And I'm working with the translucent diamond painting tray from Diamond Art Club. I really like the fact that it is a bit deeper than usual trays, but I'm not that keen on the transparency of it. So now that you've seen the tree here, I'm going to put a release paper there for it to sit on, and then I can see the diamonds through it, which works a bit better. Um, recently, I did send them a suggestion of creating more like collectible diamond trays. I think some people are starting to collect the cover minders that they're bringing out. And so I thought, Do you know, wouldn't it be wonderful to have diamond painting trays in different colours rather than the translucent ones? and then people can start collecting the trays too. So I sent that suggestion to them and I got all giddy about my idea and thought how brilliant it was. And I posted it in the Facebook page. I was really surprised at the comments that came back about people not wanting toolkits all the time. Yes, I get that. We do end up collecting quite a few. But I want the cover minders. So if Diamond Club do end up making it as a, an additional toolkit, I really hope they continue putting the cover minders in as part of the kit. Because I'd be really disappointed now if they didn't. Um, so they were a few comments I got back on the Facebook page saying, Diamond Club, please consider not putting any in at all or giving a different charge, separate charge if you want a toolkit. And that's not really what my idea was about at all, but I do get where people are coming from with the environmental impact. We don't really want all of these toolkits sitting in our cupboards, do we? Or worst case, being thrown in the bin. When I get basic green trays, I will pass them on to, you know, schools or I will try and do something with them. I have passed them on to Louise recently because if her little boy wanted to start diamond painting, then he could just put them all in the trays or if he wanted to use them for anything else. Kids have such great imaginations that they could use the green trays for all sorts of things, I'm sure. Yeah, so I was quite surprised that people didn't jump on my idea as a brilliant one <laughs> and really want to start collecting these wonderful different coloured trays from Diamond Art Club. Because I would love this tray in all sorts of different colours. I really do think it's a nice sturdy tray. So anyway, we'll see. I haven't heard anything from Diamond Art Club, so they probably weren't that keen on the idea either. <laughs> Oh, they probably knew how people felt about it if they'd been emailed before. Look at this wonderful colour. This is number eight. So we've got a lot of these to get in and it's this gorgeous, gorgeous 
it's like an orange, but it's got, a, it's like um, a very slight pink in the orange color. It's absolutely stunning. Really, really beautiful. So I will show the full picture at the end of the video, but do make sure that you're catching the short videos that I'm also posting now because you get little interim snippets of where I'm getting to with the canvas. And I recently posted one about the gorgeous little fairy hair curl. Oh, so cute. And of course that will be shown at the end of the video as part of me showing you what I've diamond painted on this one so far. I love this canvas. I absolutely adore it. It is such a joy to work on. The colours help, of course, and because they're autumn colours and it's this season, oh, just really grounds me somehow. You know, sometimes when you've got a lot on your mind or I'm busy planning and things like that, I need a bit of grounding. I am an air sign after all, airy fairy. <laughs> um, and so I'm finding this diamond painting just a delight. I know a lot of people are already into their Christmas canvases. Honestly, it is a little bit early for me. I'm not saying nobody should do it. We all have to get our crafts in well in time. But um, yeah, it is slightly too early for me to be working on Christmas projects as yet. So I'm still stuck in autumn rather than winter. Saying that, I have ordered <laughs> a winter type canvas which will be unboxed a little bit later. I haven't yet received it. So although I'm not working on winter canvases, Christmas canvases, etc., I have been shopping. <laughs> So that's one for you to look out for. Sorry, I just went offline here. And with these symbols, nice that they're large so that you can see them easily. But sometimes if I hit it slightly wrong, you can actually see the symbol through the round diamonds. So I am occasionally having to do a little bit of faffing, as I call it, and just push them gently back into the correct place. So yes, I call that faffing, which I've not had to do that much, but sometimes, as I say, the symbols are just quite big. And if you don't hit it right center, you can just see the edge of the black symbol. Don't look too closely <laughs> in case you spot any. Oh. I hope you're all well and I hope that you're getting lots of diamond painting done. Do let me know what you're working on. I always love to hear. I love looking up the canvases that you're doing if I've not seen them before. It really does help me too to have a little think about wh where the channel might go and what I'm thinking of doing next, etc. So not only do I enjoy hearing about your work and diamond painting and what you're finding, any hints and tips and tricks. But it also gets my head racing too. So thank you to everybody that is already doing that for me. And I have to say an absolutely massive thank you to all my subscribers. I hit a thousand this week. I am so giddy. Oh, I can't tell you how giddy I was when that just clicked over. Oh, oh. so thank you, thank you, thank you, and lots of love to my subscribers. I always say that I have got the best viewers on YouTube. I really, really have. And you prove me right every time. I feel so fortunate and I'm so thankful to have you with me here on Stone Magpie. It's our channel. It's growing. The community is fabulous. I really do appreciate you all. Your comments always 
just give me such joy when I read your comments and when you reply to each other as well do feel free to do so we are just one happy diamond painting community here I'm so grateful for it I can't I don't think I can tell you just how grateful I am to you all oh I, you're just delightful just delightful right I'll move on because I can't big you up any further. <laughs> uh, I've had a lot of people with me for a long time and you know who you are. And yeah, oh, just amazing, amazing, amazing. And of course, we've got Louise on board now. We've got Louise, my work colleague, diamond painting with me on a lunchtime. And I'm actually starting a diamond painting at work. I've been tutoring Louise a little bit and supporting her, doing her picture for her husband for Christmas. So that's been really lovely. It's not quite enough time for us to really get in the zone because by the time we've eaten... We tend to only have about 15 minutes, 20 if we really do eat quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, but we're enjoying it and I am starting my diamond painting too this week. So watch out for videos on that as well. But she's doing ever so well, bless her. And it's lovely to have a friend sat by side talking. It's great talking to you guys. I always feel like you're sat with me. But when I'm actually getting some questions and comments back as we're diamond painting, it's, it's like, oh. So I hope you all do have friends that join in with your craft too. I have talked about... In the past, I've talked about um, how we could share it face to face and things. And as you know, my dream, well, you may not know if you've just joined us. My absolute dream, if I ever won the lottery, which I don't play all the time. <laughs> I play every now and again. Oh dear, don't know how I expect to win the lottery when I don't always buy a ticket. <laughs> I just throw it out to the universe and the universe will supply if it's the right thing for me to be doing um, is a diamond painting retreat. Oh, do you know, I would absolutely love that. I would absolutely love to have land where I could put perhaps like, you know, the bell bell top tents or whatever they're called where you go glamping and you have stoves the wood burning stoves in there and it's all cozy and beautiful and not a camp bed but a beautiful bed in there and it's just left up all the time some of those and tree houses you know but with proper stairs up rather than you know not like a tree house where you have to shimmy up <laughs> Oh my God, can you imagine? <laughs> but no, proper wooden stairs up to a tree house and it'd be like a little house with a little kitchen and oh, like another wood burning stove and just like luxury treetop wooden building with a, you know, I'll say bathroom, but probably more like that might be pushing it a little bit in the luxury front. <laughs> so let's say a shower room, like an oh, like an outdoor shower, but that you could make more private with screening and things. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not talking about a nudist camp. <laughs> goodness oh dear oh I've tickled myself now <laughs> no I'm not talking about that I'm talking about you know you know if you've seen these luxury tree houses with the outdoor showers with screening around oh dear oh, oh dear me oh I've got 
I've got a vision in my head that shouldn't be there now. <laughs> yes, what else could we have? Let's move on quickly. Oh dear, I am naughty sometimes. Oh no. Uh, right. Um, yeah, so we could have some bell tents and some tree houses. Um, but it would need some sort of like community hub. So like a headquarters in the centre. And then maybe caravans could we have? Oh, would you love one of those original style gypsy caravans? Ah, uh, maybe we could have some of those on our on our land as well in the retreat. And then you'd be able to choose what type of accommodation you would like to stay in. I mean, we could always do a little area if you wanted to bring your own tent and you're into that sort of festival atmosphere and then we could all get together in the community hub and diamond paint together oh and have chats and get tips from each other oh do you know like a week's holiday diamond painting but obviously I would stay there all the time <laughs> because you know it would be um I'd, I'd get people in you know, experts. Oh, what do you think? Wouldn't it be fab? Oh, I really, really, really want to do it. I really need to win the lottery. I don't think if I, if I set up a crowdfunding, <laughs> I don't quite think I would get there. Do you? Oh, yeah. I think that would be amazing. That is my dream scenario. Yeah. Oh, I've gone into I've gone into dreamland now. It would be wonderful. And it would be great to meet you guys and to be able to just have fun and chat and have meals together. I'm not a good cook though, so I would not be cook. <laughs> Just putting out that, you know, right now. So I might be able to toss something onto a barbecue, but anything other than that, I'm afraid. I can throw a good sandwich together and I could, <gasps> oh, it could be where, just like a festival, they were like, food stalls and then we could sit in like a food hall so we could sit inside to eat but you'd get your food from the um little like not the market stalls I don't know what they call them where they're like cabins on wheels aren't they and they serve out the food at festivals not that I've ever been to a festival I think I need to change that I need to actually go to a festival that is on my to-do list. I did miss out, I did actually register for Glastonbury because I was talking about my um, solstice canvas, my beautiful canvas from Diamond Art Club. And I thought, you know, wouldn't it be amazing to go to Glastonbury? So I registered. So they sent out an email to say when tickets would be available and they were available on a weekend and of course, what was I doing on the weekend? I was diamond painting, of course. So by the time I remembered that tickets were on sale, it was lunchtime. And yeah, I didn't even try. I saw the news that they'd sold out within about an hour. There was some sort of glitch, wasn't there? Yeah, so by the time I thought, oh, it's time to buy the tickets. Yeah, I'd, I'd missed it. So that wasn't meant to be either. I do believe that the universe gives you things you're meant to have. So I obviously wasn't meant to go to Glastonbury. I do listen to Chris Evans' breakfast show on Virgin Radio every morning on my drive to work. I love that. It really uplifts you on a morning. They are such joyous people. <laughs> They get me laughing so much. Um, so yes, and they've got Carfest coming up. I think their tickets are on sale. So I need to look at Carfest 
and maybe that would be a brilliant starting point for festival life. Um, the only thing I think I would worry about with the festival going thing is sleeping in a tent. I don't think I'm going to be good at it. <laughs> I really, I mean, that's only a weekend rather than a full week. So, oh, sorry, I've just seen another one I missed. So, hmm, I don't know. Perhaps they might have camper van type spots, uh, pitches, they probably call it. Let's do that arrow up there. They do have the pitches, I'm sure. I don't know what the prices would be. And then we'd have to hire a camper van because we don't have one. So this is already going ding, 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 ding up in cost, isn't it, in my head? But I will look into it and see. Um, we'll see. <laughs> if I do, of course I would do a video from Carfest for you. Oh... Uh, would that be fun? I think it would be fun. I might end up in a tent though. <laughs> or, I, I don't think I'd be able to diamond paint in a tent. I'd have to probably put a table outside the tent in it to enable to do the diamond painting. Anyway, something for the future, that one perhaps. I don't quite know where I got to it with this. I don't know how I got onto festivals. Where was I going with it? I was starting to talk about the dream retreat, which sounds much more plush than sleeping in a tent. So I'm not quite sure. No, I went, oh, I don't know. I've lost my train of thought. So sorry if I was going somewhere good with that. <laughs> Probably not. If I remember, I'll come back to it. It's an age thing. I'm sure it's an age thing. So can you see, every now and again, I'm still faffing. Have you noticed with these symbols? I have to say that I didn't ch um, change my blue wax in the end of this diamond pen this time, but I did add a little bit more into the single placer nib because it seems to me that the blue wax seems to dry out a lot quicker than the pink wax. And I've not diamond painted for a few days and it looks sort of crumbly. It is still working, but it's definitely drier than the pink wax would be. So I'm pleased that it's actually in a caddy to keep it nice. If I open that up, you can see there. And this is the blue wax from Oraloa, where this canvas is from. And if you've, well, actually with Oraloa, if you use Stone Magpie code, you can get 15% off canvases at any time. Isn't that amazing? So good. So if you like this canvas, then do head over there. They do have some beautiful canvases. This is an Eleanor Dodina canvas and it's stunning, absolutely beautiful. She has got a lot of other ones on there too. And of course, this is a round diamond painting. And I know that there are square ones on at the moment as well. So lots to look at. And remember, I got this cute little diamond tray from them as a little freebie extra. And I've not used it because really, I haven't had a lot of junk. So it is sat beside me, I'll pop it. Can you see that on screen there? Um, I'll pop it there so that you can see that as well. Really, really sweet. <laughs> so yes, I have got a square diamond painting coming to me from Oraloa. I have purchased again because I am so pleased with this one. So watch out for that. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, but
but I am enjoying, you know, doing the short videos too. So if you've not checked out the shorts, do make sure you're watching those as well. They're just little snip, snippets of quick little interim updates, I, was, I would say. They tend to be set to music rather than talking because, you know, you know what I'm like. I like a good chat and yeah, to do a minute's worth. <laughs> yeah, no, so I tend to set them to music rather than gabble on on them. Some have a little bit of both though, I must admit. Any number fours? Yes. So I actually did email Eleanor Dodino. You know what I'm like. <laughs> I like to find out about the artists and things like that. So sometimes I get replies and sometimes I don't. But Eleanor kindly replied to my email. I asked her, I, I'm just such so blown away with this design. This fairy on the toadstool is so beautiful. So I asked Eleanor about where the inspiration came from for this picture. You know, wanted to get a bit of background about where does she start on a design and things like that. And she did kindly email me back. I will read that to you now. Hello Suzanne, thank you very much for your kind words. There is not much I can say about my The Magic Forest, not about any of my images. They are simple fantasies that I usually start fascinated by a model to which I give form, personality and life. I don't usually work on a previous idea. Working on the stock photos takes me forward. The idea emerges along the way. I hope you find my answer useful. Thanks again. So I hope you found that interesting. Wasn't it kind for her to let us know about how she does her artwork. Really, really lovely. So thank you, Eleanor, for doing that. I thought you may be interested to know a little bit of inside information. I know that we get information on the websites about the artists, but sometimes when we love a piece of specific art, it's nice to know, isn't it? about their inspiration or how they get started with an idea. So clever. I really appreciate the artists that we've got doing our diamond paintings because, you know, it makes our life easier, doesn't it, when we're choosing designs. Popping the diamonds on. And I think some people may question why we would diamond paint over an image that could be readily available um, as a print or something. And I always say that a print is beautiful, yes, and the quality, the quality of the licensed prints are usually top notch. However, diamond painting is a very different thing to um, framing a print on the wall. You put in so much time and effort and nowhere else, nowhere else would you be able to get the finish that you get from a diamond painting. That beautiful sparkle, the amazing colours in it. Are, when you see them in different lights, they change. They sparkle differently. They look different. And you can't get that with anything other than diamond painting. So not only do we have the amazing finish, but also the time involved with it, the relaxation. It really does help a lot of people with anxiety and mental health issues. I'm just going on to this here. There we go. And I say issues because I was listening, as I say, to Chris Evans Radio and this week they were talking to a guest on the channel who said something that really struck a chord with me. Because of course we don't have to have mental health issues to diamond paint and enjoy them, enjoy the diamond painting. And what they were saying was with anxiety, 
um, that is a mental health issue. However, everybody, everybody has mental health because we all have a brain, basically. We all have a brain, so we all have mental health. However, when we have issues with our mental health, that is a very different thing. And I thought that was an amazing way to put it. I, it really struck me as true because we may not have issues with our mental health. However, some days we may feel a little bit sad, a little bit down, a little bit not quite ourselves. And that could be a short term mental issue. And then we have, you know, it, it ramps up in scale, doesn't it? With the issues that some people struggle with and anxiety being one of those, depression. Um, so, as I say, you don't need to have mental health issues to enjoy diamond painting. It just may help your mental health. So, yeah, it really struck me and I thought I must share that with my viewers and see what you think about that too. Because we all need to take care of our mental health and our physical health and try, you know, to be as well as we can be. And laughter is definitely the best medicine ever. <laughs> so if you laugh at me, I prefer if you laughed with me, but if you laugh at me, that's absolutely fine. As long as you're just doing you some good, I don't mind. <laughs> Right, I'm going to put in these little symbols here. Get this dark colour in. I am leaving these bits for a bit later on. They are the AB colours, I'm sure. Yes, they are. So we can add a little bit of sparkle to the occasion when I get to that point as well. Just filling a little bit of background in first. And then we can have a party with some ABs. I can see that I have missed some colours, you know. It always happens, doesn't it? I've missed some here, that tick, few ticks and a few arrow, oh, and those. I don't think I've been looking at that little section there by the looks of it. I'll fill those in now. Oh dear. So I've got a few of these. These are the lines these ones here that I completely ignored. Were you shouting at me? Were you saying, <laughs> you've missed some? I bet you were waiting for me to spot it, weren't you? <laughs> there we are. Next, we'll do those little arrow up ones here. We've just got a couple of those to put in. Oh, look, there's another one. I nearly missed it again. Have I got my right glasses on? Yes, I do. Hmm. No excuse then. <laughs> Mind you, I am working on a fairy. Perhaps she's a bit naughty and blinding me to some colours. Let's see if I can do this from the bag rather than tipping them out on the tray. If you do do this, it is a bit of a quick tip, but do be careful that they don't all tip out of your bag onto your canvas. Oh. I'll do the same for the ticks. What I do is I open the bag. I know some people say they find this quite difficult from self-seal bags. I, Yeah, but it's working for me okay having to open the bags and close them again. I mean, there are some downsides that you, you do need to make sure that you, you sort of make sure the bag's closed because you don't want them to spill out when you put them down again. It's just a quick squeeze. Right, have I filled in all of the missing ones? I think I have. 
So let's do that. those couple of arrows that way. I think I started with those ones, didn't I? Oh dear me. Let's do it from the bag as well. There's only two. There we are. All right, I think we're up to date with everything that I need. To... Oh, look! Look at those. They are definitely hiding from me. Oh, come back again, number 40. I think I might need a slurp of tea, you know. Let's put these in and then I'm going to have a little drink. Oh, do you know, I think I've remembered where I was going with my festival story. <laughs> How funny is that? All right, I'll bear it in mind for after I've had a slurp of tea. It just popped back into my head again. Cheers, everyone. Oh my goodness. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> There's another one. Oh my, oh. <laughs> pop you in. I also see, I don't think I've done dashes. I think that was just an odd one there. So let's pop that one in as a little odd one there. And then we'll do the number twos. Should we do a number two? <laughs> I always think it's a bit cheeky saying, should we do a number two? You know, toilet humour, let's put it that way. <laughs> Right, let's get my tray back. Here we are, number two. And let's get these in. Right, where I was going with my festival story was about the retreat and having food stalls. So let's go back to there where they've got the the cart and they're serving food to us and then I went oh, and I remembered thinking what about a sweetie cart ah! yes oh oh that would be heaven to be able to go to one of those carts and choose a whole load of sweeties oh, yes 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 mm. We could have a few different ones so that you would have a choice of the types of sweeties. For example, we could have a chocolate cart mm, with different types of chocolate. And we could have a, a boiled sweet cart, a toffee cart. Uh, oh, what else? We could have... Oh, mm. Toffee, chocolate, boiled sweets, um, soft centres, maybe? And we could have them all in a little circle of sweetie juiciness. And you could just go up and fill your magpie tray. <laughs> Imagine if you were all given a magpie tray when you arrived at the retreat and we could all put our sweeties in there and go to the food stalls and fill our trays back up again. Wouldn't that be amazing? And then sit and, well, actually, am, am I supposed to be promoting healthy eating? Well, we could have a few sweeties, couldn't we? You've got to have some treats in life. Moderation is the key, isn't it? Oh, my head's gone somewhere else again. My head's now gone to, could we have a gin stall? <laughs> Different flavoured gins, ciders, ooh, wines. Now we would have to moderate that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doesn't it sound so much fun? It will happen, I'm sure. If I, I'm going to keep wishing to the universe. How can we make it happen, universe? Uh, oh, I really, really, really want it. 
and it's not the wish that I made at the beginning of the year. If you were with me right at the beginning of this year, I was diamond painting a canvas, I think it was from Spell Queen, and it had a little girl stood on a bed with an elephant next to her. Do you remember that one? And she was placing a star right up high in the sky. I'll post the video in the eye if you've not seen it. Go and have a little look at it. And I think I called the video Wish Upon a Star. And we all made a wish while I was diamond painting it. And that wasn't even on my radar about a diamond painting retreat at that point. Uh, I do remember what wish I made and I still can't tell you in case it comes true. <laughs> I will let you know if it ever does because I thought, you, uh, well, with it being the beginning of the year, I thought it may well come true this year, but it hasn't yet. But we're not at the end of the year yet, are we? So there's still time. <laughs> ever the optimist. It would be quite unbelievable if that wish did come true, I have to say. But if you don't wish for things that you really, really, you know, don't expect to get, then it's not a wish, is it? Right, I am going to, I've got, did I miss that A? Oh no, I've got a few more A's next. I think I did do A's, you know, I probably did miss these ones. them in. I think I am going to have to do a little bit of faffing. I think I got so excited talking about sweets and treats and things that I haven't placed my diamonds particularly perfectly but I think I'd get away with most of them. I might just have to faff a little bit at the end. But there we go. Right. Hmm. Yeah, let's fill in these bits before we get to the ABs. I was tempted then to jump ahead, but, oh, should I? How long have we got? Yes, I'm going to jump ahead just in case I don't have time to complete these bits before the end of the video. So I'm starting with this number N symbol, which is 47. This bright, bright red AB, just fabulous. I'm going to get my claw diamond pen. I was a bit naughty, I think, last time and used my usual one. So I'm going to get the claw because it's a plastic end, which is a little bit kinder to the ABs. Just two of those, I'm sure. Let me have a little look, yes. And then we'll go on to the majority of the ABs and fill in the edge of her sparkling diamond painted wing. So magical. And of course, it is this fabulous plum colour. Oh, just look at those little jewels. Get them lined up. Oh, gosh. So fabulous. Right, now I can't use my claw if I'm multi-placing, so I'll have to change again pen. So I'll use my spring pen for this bit and I'll multi-place the majority of them and then go in and fill any gaps with my claw afterwards. These ABs are so beautiful, aren't they? I think this wax might need a bit of an update, but I don't want to update it when we're on to ABs. So we'll see how we get on, because if you've not diamond painted ABs before, do be aware that they're not keen on fresh wax. They do prefer the wax to be slightly older. If you do need to use fresh wax, just be careful it doesn't pull the coating off the AB because it can be quite 
you know, with fresh wax, it's quite sticky, isn't it? And it can stick to the AB and pull the coating off as you lift your pen up. So top tip is always to try and use old wax with ABs. And I get away sometimes with using a metal end. If you've seen, sometimes I forget to switch them out during a video. Um, and I do get away with it, but it's better to use a plastic end for them. It's a very, very dull day in the UK today and they are still sparkling beautifully. We've had a lot of rain in the UK over the last week or so. Bit of localised flooding and I believe that we're still on a hosepipe ban after the very hot summer that we had. It's going to take quite a bit of time to recover. So we've had a very strange year with weather we've had a very very warm november well i say very warm november that's probably a bit misleading it's been warm <laughs> not red hot although louise was telling me that she went off um down to bristol one day at the last weekend and she was wearing a summer dress in november so she was actually visiting a Christmas market down there, wearing a summer dress. She said it was most bizarre. She didn't feel at all Christmassy <laughs> because it was just so warm. So very, very peculiar. But quite thankful to have the a bit of a warmer day because it means that the heating doesn't have to be turned on as much. Um, I'm tending to just put my heating on on a morning and an evening and it helps dry the washing. <laughs> So filling in these single ones now with my claw. I call it the claw, it's not really a claw. It's called a bent end nib. But it looks to me like a claw. That's why I call it the claw. Like It's like a talon, isn't it? <laughs> I think it might even be called an angled nib, you know, so a bent nose nib, angled nib, something like that is the official name. But you know me by now, if you've watched my channel a lot, you know I like to make up my own names for things. <laughs> oh, it's got like in the design there of her wing. We go so I am going to finish off these red plum ABs and then I will get you a view from further afield so that you can see where we've got up to and like I say do check out shorts as well on my channel if you go to my channel page there's actually where the community tab is there's also a shorts tab and they are all sat in there so you will be able to find those too. I think I've got all of those ones in. Again, I've not had to use my dinky little tray that we got from Oraloa. Okay, let's get a view from further away. Isn't this canvas beautiful? It is raining in the UK right now and yet you can still see the sparkle in this canvas and look at the colours. Oh, they're just gorgeous. You can see the plum ABs just twinkling away within the background of this painting to the left-hand side. 
you can see here, look at that tree. The detail they've managed to get into that tree there is just stunning with the autumn colours to either side. And then here is the wing that we've worked on today. This point here. And there's the fairy curl that I did on my shorts video. Now you may wonder why I've got this section still to do because I usually work right to left in rows like that. But last weekend I didn't have time to record a whip and chat for you. So I decided to start going right to left and then I did the shorts video and then I decided to diamond paint to here so that you could see the fairy wing being completed. So that's the reason why I don't normally work in that way, but it's fine. I've done it. And look at the section that I'll be working on next. There we are. We've got the edge of the fairy wing here. We've got some more background and a little bit of her hair. And then we'll be moving down to the next row where the fairy face will be. Oh, it's all exciting and all to come up on the Stone Magpie channel. So do please like, share and subscribe. Do leave me comments. Let me know what you're working on. And I hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.